Hello, children of God. My name is Yemi. I trust you are doing well today. Happy New Week and thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for being here. I appreciate your presence. I appreciate your support. Thank you so much for your prayers for me, your love and words of encouragement. It means so much to me to have you here. And I'm confident that today's word will speak directly to your spirit. If this is your first time here, welcome. I pray that today's message steers something deep within you. God bless you. Before we dive into the word, let's begin with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and for bringing us into your presence. Lord, we thank you for your provision, your grace, and your constant love in our lives. Lord, we are so grateful for all that you are and that you continue to do for us. Thank you for carrying us through every season of our life. Lord, we'll come before you today to ask for forgiveness for anything we may have done knowingly or unknowingly that was not in alignment with your will for our lives. Lord, cleanse our heart and purify our mind so we may stand blameless before you. Father, as we prepare to receive your word, I ask that you would open our hearts and minds, remove any distraction, remove doubts and heaviness that would keep us from hearing you clearly today. Let your word take root in our spirit and bring transformation in the name of Jesus. Father, use me as your verse to speak through me to your people. Let every word carry your power and your purpose and may your people be edified by this message in Jesus precious and mighty name we have prayed amen as I pray today I saw a quick vision of wings being attached to someone's shoulders spiritually this means elevation it means speed and the ability to rise above situations wings represent divine acceleration what would have taken years to accomplish God is now speeding up He's giving you wings to soar to new heights, to move with purpose, and to overcome obstacles that seemed impossible. And I believe this is what is about to happen for someone this new week. This is not just about physical changes in your circumstances only. It is a spiritual shift as well. You've been in a season where it felt like everything was moving slowly, like nothing was happening despite your best efforts. But God is saying today, I am giving you wings. <laughs> you are about to experience supernatural acceleration. What was delayed is now coming quickly. What seemed far off is now within reach. The things you have been praying for, the doors you've been waiting for to open, the breakthrough you've been trusting God for. The Lord is saying now is the time. Get ready to swap. <laughs> you will not just walk into your blessings. This is for someone. You will not just walk into your blessings. You will fly into them. And with those wings, God is giving you divine perspective as well. You will begin to see things differently. What once looked like a mountain will now look like a stepping stone. What felt like a heavy burden will now seem light because God is lifting you above it. He's giving you the grace to rise above every obstacle, every challenge, and every setback. Someone listen, you are about to see your situation from a higher place. I also hear the Lord say, this elevation is not just for you. You are not just receiving wings for your own journey. You are being equipped to help others rise. God is positioning you to help others soar as well. Your testimony, your victory, your journey will inspire and uplift those around you. The Lord is saying to you today, prepare yourself for this acceleration. Be ready because when these wings are fully attached, things will move fast. Don't be caught off guard, says the Lord. Make sure your heart, your mind, and spirit are aligned with his will. Now is the time to fly. Don't worry about the process. Don't stress about the details. Just trust that God has already prepared every step for you. 
He's not giving you wings without a purpose. There's a destination, a place of promise, and a divine assignment attached to this elevation. God is removing the limits that once held you back. Where there was resistance, there will now be momentum. Where there was delay, there will now be swift progress. You will look back and be amazed at how quickly things shifted in your favor. But remember, it is not by your strength or your mind. It is by the spirit of the Lord. So get ready. The wings are being attached and you're about to soar. Isaiah 40 and 31 say, But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amos 9, 13 through 15 says, Yes, indeed, it won't be long now. God's decree. Things are about to happen so fast your head will swim. One thing fast on the heels of the other. You won't be able to keep up. Everything will be happening at once. And everywhere you look, blessings. Blessings like wine pouring off the mountains and the hills. This is the word of the Lord for you today. I pray it's a blessing in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for this revelation and the accompanying word. Thank you for the wings you are attaching to our lives, for the acceleration, for the elevation and divine perspective you are giving us. Lord, we are grateful for your timing and for the breakthroughs that are coming. Lord, we ask for the boldness to step into this new season with faith. Father, help us to trust in you as you carry us through and give us the wisdom to navigate the changes ahead. May we always give you the glory for every victory. And may we use our testimonies to uplift and encourage others in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, today I declare that this is our time to soar high. And nothing, nothing, nothing in hell will stop us or hold us back in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for equipping us, for strengthening us, and for preparing us for what is next in Jesus' name. Thank you. We receive your word today. We believe your word. And we trust that we will see the fulfillment of those promises in our lives and in our midst. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.